Welcome to all of you. I am Prakash Shreddy. In this video discussion, you learn the fruit juice processing technology. Total six video lectures. In the first part, we discussed on the fruit juice processing technology introduction part. What is meant by thermal, non-thermal fruit juices? Then, what are the specifications regarding to the each type of the fruit juices? What is the labeling regulations guidelines? what are the specific minimum requirement for regarding the fruit juices and what are the different types of the fruit juices these are the first lectures and after that how to extract the fruit containing fruit pulp or the juice and how to convert it to the different type of the fruit juices these are the all points in discussed into the second parts and after that different type of the fruit juices involving the technology then regarding to the uh, the specifications and the recipes these are the all discussed what are the main parts of the fruits you can see in this photo the fruits in which outer layer is called as a peel and the center located seed seed and peel and internal some of the fibers which are the by product and the remaining central flesh this is the central located flesh is called as a pulp or maybe in this flesh containing water that is the fruit juice which is extracted in the fruit juice processing technology you can see mostly in the citrus fruits containing the fruit juice and the remaining non citrus fruit containing the mostly fruit pulp these are the fruit pulp and the juice are extracted and after that they are converted to the different type of the fruit juices you can see a simple example in which the fruit in citrus fruits we should require to properly peeling or maybe crushing and the pressing process to extract the fruit juice and then further processing and the, some of the fruits in which the containing pulp this pulp is removed by using the pulper or the scraping process peeling and scraping process and after that extraction of the pulp it is converted into the different type of the fruit juices what is mean by 100% natural fruit juice 100% natural fruit juice that means the fruit whatever the containing the fruit pulp or the juice they are only directly extract and then after that they are directly packed without any addition of the ingredients no addition of any one of the single ingredients that means no addition of the water then add no addition of the flavoring substances no addition of the salt sugar syrup milk etc no addition of any other ingredient only whatever the fruit pulp or the juice extracted after that the extraction they are directly packed may be processed that is the non thermal processing technology in which the shelf life of that fruit juice is lower as compared to thermal processing fruit juices whatever the fruit juice is extracted directly packed and they are stored into the refrigeration temperature and they are Second distributed is the sweetened fruit juice in which the rts beverages you can see the number of the products are available in the market rts beverages these are the rts beverages these are the thermal processed sweetened fruit juices in which fruit juice added with the addition of the sugar water they may be added with the color flavors and the other ingredients added with the other ingredients with the proper proportion to get the final tss at least 10% required and may be processed with the thermal heat treatment as per the regulations minimum requirement for the fruit juice of the citrus fruit juice like the lime and the lemon minimum requirement of the final bricks is 5% and for the other beverages that is the rts beverages must require to minimum 10% of the final bricks content the original whatever the food content these are also specific regulation as per at least 85% with which is the prepared with the maybe directly with the food juice or maybe directly with the pulp dilution or puree dilution or the concentrated fruit juice dilution process you can see the thermal processed fruit juice and the non thermal processed fruit juice the basic difference is only that that is thermal processed means thermal processing heat treatment is applied non thermal means without any heat treatment whatever the natural fruit juice they are directly packed 
in the thermal processing fruit juices like the RTS beverages as per the regulations in which the food safety standard authority of India given the regulations in which added with the some of the additives like maybe added with the preservative substances may be added with the other ingredients like the salt then spices herbs or may be added with the coloring and the flavoring matters or may be added with the nutritive sweeteners at the range of the 50 to 200 ppm maximum 200 ppm as per the specific the type of that sweeteners that means whatever the RTS beverages which is prepared during the preparation uh, as per our requirement we can add these the ingredients as per the regulations and to maintain the specific standard of the final product for the thermal processing fruit juices that is the RTS beverages the minimum requirement of the bricks and the acidity level these are the examples in which the fruit juice its minimum requirement of the bricks and the acidity level as for the food safety standard of India these are the guidelines beverages as per the guidelines the first name of the specific juice you declare the specific name of the juice containing if the juice is mixed fruit then declare their percentage of the fruit content on that juice or the juice percentage then addition of the whatever the ingredients if added sugar water salts and other ingredients must be required to declare then name of the juice and their percentage of the all juices you can see for the mixed juice the percentage of the mango pulp and the guava pulp their percentage are declared the next one is the all additives added stabilizers regulators then added preservatives color matters then added permitted all additives required to declare then required to declare the containing the fruit juice the percentage of the juice containing also required to declare if the juice is added with the sugar more than the 15 gram per kg they also required to declare and this type of the juice is called as a sweetened fruit juice if the fruit juice is prepared from the dried fruit juice powder that is the reconstitute type then required to declare on that reconstitute fruit juice you can see in this label these are the examples 100% mixed fruit juice that means this juice is prepared from the mixing of the fruit juice and also declared as a 100% mixed fruit juice that means the juice percentage they are mixed with the mixing of two or more fruit juices basic classification of the fruit juices the first group that is the sweetened fruit juices mostly they are in thermal processing sweetened fruit juices second one is the natural juice and third one is the fermented beverages that is the wine and cedar in the natural fruit juice maybe non thermal processing or the thermal processing treatment is carried out and the sweetened fruit juices involving the single fruit juice or maybe blended RTS beverages maybe nectars, cordials, squash, then crush, syrups these are the major groups in which the sweetened juice these are the major groups the major group of the sweetened fruit juice in which these are the products in which minimum requirement of the TSAS acidity and the fruit content in the next lecture we discuss now on the how to extract the fruit juice from the fruit what are the equipments required what is the preservation technology of the fruit juice how to process the RTS beverages and after that the next third and up to sixth video we discuss the each the sweetened fruit juice like the nectar, cordial, squash, crush, syrup and the fruit juice concentrate Thank you very much. These are the references used for the preparation of this PowerPoint presentation.